Hi, and welcome to a quick demonstration of the new Playout History feature in Airtime 2.5. My name is Albert, and I'm going to show you how you can track playback information for your Airtime-powered radio station. Over here I have the new Playout History view, and we're looking at a log sheet of a little demo radio station I've set up. So what we can see here right now is what's been played on this station between 11 and 12 this morning. So you can customize the range that you're viewing uh, your playback history for. For example, if I want to view a slightly broader range that extends into the afternoon, I'm just going to change it to 14 o'clock here, and we'll see, and click the little magnifying glass there. Now we'll see a, a bigger range. Uh, you can also add manual entries if you need to update, uh, add extra content into your uh, playout history, and you can also edit each of these fields uh, and add extra annotations as, you, as needed. You can export your playout history as well directly to CSV, which can be imported into a spreadsheet program like Excel, or uh, export it to a PDF or even print it. Now we have another tab here that shows us uh, the file summary, which is uh, file uh, playback information on a per file basis. So f within the same time range we can see that each one of these songs was played one time. Next, we have the show summary, which shows us, again, uh, information on a per show basis this time. And so we can see that this content was scheduled to be played uh, in a, a pre-lunch show. And uh, you can see uh, all what, what was played there, basically. Now, you can also expo export just the contents of this one particular show to CSV or PDF as well. And this is the view that your, your DJs or broadcasters will see when they, when they log in. They can see and manage the the shows and the playout history of the shows that they were responsible for. Now what's uh, really interesting about the, these features is that these views can be customized and that's particularly useful if there's certain regulatory requirements or broadcasting laws that you have to comply with in your country. So we've set this up so that you can you can do what you need to do here using this, this history templates feature that we've impl implemented. So for example, right now I'm using the broadcast template that I've set up. I've built my own template for log sheets and I'm going to edit it by clicking on it. And here you can see the columns that uh, I was looking at before. Uh, you can see the start time, end time, the title, and the creator. And so for example, if I wanted to add and add other other metadata fields, we have some preset ones uh, that are, that are going to get pulled from the files, like for example, like the album, and the genre of these uh, of the songs that were played in the schedule, but I can also add custom metadata fields. So, for example, I'm going to add an explicit field, and we can make it a boolean. So that's a like a yes or a no value, and we're going to add that to our log sheet, and we're going to save it. And now we're going to go back to the playout history, and now we can see a new explicit column was added. So we can try to tag explicit lyrics. So if we go, uh, if I'm a DJ broadcasting with airtime and I want to fix up and uh, my uh, my log sheet after the fact, I can log in here and uh, click and edit and then mark particular tracks that I played as explicit. Now you can add other other uh, other columns as you wish and uh, really customize that to make it the best uh, for your particular radio station and. So now you don't also don't have to keep track of, uh, you know, each one of your DJs and broadcasters don't have to keep track of uh, particular extra playout history information spread all over the place. Everybody can do it within airtime all together in one place, and then that can be exported if you need be. So that was a quick look at the new playout history feature in Airtime 2.5, and we hope you enjoy this new update. Thank you for watching.